How to build a standalone and decentralized DAP infrastructure to couple with the Elrond blockchain. Part 1. Set up your own Wallet Connect bridge for Elrond DAPs. In this series of technical articles, we'll cover some technical points around the need of building a standalone and decentralized DAP infrastructure to be coupled with Elrond blockchain. Blockchain by default is a decentralized software, but it is important to have also a standalone and decentralized infrastructure for your DAP management in order to be coupled to the blockchain in order to have the best throughput and load balancing for the traffic going through DAP and collateral services. Examples Maya Wallet Connect, Elasticsearch, Nodes Observers, etc. In this article we'll cover the setup of your own standalone Wallet Connect bridge used by Maya Wallet Connect to have a more reliable and user-friendly interface for a full non-custodial login. Why use your own bridge? To answer the question, we must first understand what Wallet Connect is. Wallet Connect is an open source protocol that lets dApps, decentralized applications, connect to cryptocurrency wallet apps. That connection allows for transaction authentication from the app without ever entering the private key in the DAP itself. Elrond's Maya app uses this technology to authenticate its users. The protocol works by generating a QR code on the DAP side, which you scan with your wallet app on your mobile device. Wallet Connect manages all the complexity behind the scenes and provides a clean and seamless interaction with the DAP through your mobile device. Using the default Elrond bridge can be problematic if you need the maximum possible traffic throughput or not get blocked if your traffic reaches the maximum allowed threshold. All the dApps built on Elrond with Maya login by default are using the Elrond bridge. However, thanks to the open source nature of the Wallet Connect protocol, it is effortless to have your own bridge instead of using the default one. Before you can install your own Wallet Connect bridge, make sure you have the following. A server with public IP, for example, an AWS EC2 container. Having the latest Ubuntu DBNOS installed, other distros should work too, but we tested with Ubuntu 21.04. Root SSH access to the server. Server RAM should at least be 2 GB. Recommended RAM for the server is 4 GB plus. Server disk space should be at least 40 GB, preferably SSD, for faster response time. Cloudflare account with admin access. This method requires you to have an API token, not API key, ready before installing the bridge. We recommend using a completely new server for the bridge and not use the server for anything other than the bridge. To view the full article, including all of the instructions, please click the link in the description of this video. See you next time, your friends from Black Hat Network.